Hey there, uh, Dan Fitzpatrick here, stockmarketmentor.com. And here's my fits in five uh, session for Monday. So um, Davida, healthcare partners. I missed the early entry on this when the stock really, you could say, when it broke out, I'd say right here. Uh, when the stock broke out um, there, uh, volume was pretty good. You could see it was increasing. And so that was the best time to be in this stock. I missed that, uh, caught it a couple of days later, rode through a little pullback here. And now we're, uh, I'll just say kind of nicely, uh, nicely profitable. Not a huge profit, but in this choppy market, you know what, I'll take it. Um, so I'm looking at this stock and it still seems to me like it has some more room to go. We'll look at the weekly chart in a sec. The thing that bothers me is this. It's got declining volume as the stock runs up. Uh, the closes for the most part have been pretty good. Um, this one on Friday, I, I, I don't really give it that much credence because it is Friday. And after the week that it had had, it kind of makes sense that there'd be a little bit of selling or at least a lack of buying pressure going into the close on a Friday. But then today it's it's off to the races again, but volume's still pretty low. And we've only got like 40 minutes left uh, in the trading day when I'm doing this. So I'm expecting this to be another low volume day. When a stock continues to rally on declining volume, you, you have to beware because the only reason stocks move higher is because buyers are more aggressive than sellers. It doesn't have to do with the number of buyers or the amount of shares bought. It has to do with whether traders are being aggressive in buying or aggressive in selling. Because if you want to buy some stock, you're going to have to reach up and take the offer. If you want to sell some stock, you're going to have to take less by just hitting the bid. And so here, when we've got aggressive buyers pushing the stock higher, but the volume's actually declining, that's not a good deal for the long run. So I want to go to the weekly and then I'll come back to the, uh, to the daily. Though we look at the weekly chart and I see kind of a different, it's always good to zoom out and get a satellite view, um, not an international space shuttle view because then you'd probably be up there too damn long to really trade. Um, but you can see here, that was a joke, uh, not a joke. Uh, so you can see the way this thing broke out is running up above 150. This does have plenty of room to move. It has plenty of room to go after this big, deep cup and handle. So we go back to the daily chart and this is what I'm looking at. Okay, we've been long the stock for about five bucks, not a big deal. But if you, if you get an opportunity to buy the stock closer to this eight day moving average, I think that's when you wanna get in. That's when you wanna own the stock if you don't already. And if you do, We've got to stop clear down here. I'm going to raise it um, today for our members. I'll be putting it up probably, probably in the 149, 148, 149 um, area just to lock in um, a, a smaller loss versus a bigger loss. And so if it's something like that, and I put it in clear down here, it will say below this day's intraday low, I'm, I'm risking less than 4% of a give back. Um, so that's probably where I'll put it, maybe a little bit higher. Members, you want to check the active trade list and you'll be able to see that. By the way, if you're not a member, why don't you take advantage of that today? There's a trial membership. If you don't like it, you can leave. No questions, no complaints, no nothing. Just let us know and you can cancel your membership. But meanwhile, my suspicion is you're going to wind up making a lot of money. Also, we've got NVIDIA on Wednesday night reporting. I will be trading that thing on Thursday morning for members. So hopefully you'll be there. Okay. If you're not going to be, why don't you fix that? Okay. I'll see you then.